Hey guys, Starkozo here, coming at you with another um, hotkey tutorial, this time with the Protoss. Since Protoss is my main, I thought I'd do a little one on them. So, uh, for starters, what I like to do when I start the game is obviously I put select my workers, put them on the minerals, take my Nexus, do Shift-5, and it keeps my Nexus at 5. And then, considering that all the Nexuses, or Nexi, or however you say that, get... Chrono boost ability, like so, I add all of my nexuses, or nexi, I'm not sure how you say it, to this control group of five. And then I tap five, and now I can just, as of right now, I believe I can chrono boost six or seven times because of that. And after I build my nexus, you know, I go up to nine pylon about usually. And after pumping out, I think, two more probes, I get a gateway, and then I take this gateway. Let me transform this back into a gateway, actually. I don't think anyone's actually ever done this in a game. Chosen a gateway over a warp gate, but oh well. So, this is my first gateway, hypothetically. Take this. Set it to four. Set the rally point there. So, as I'm making probes, spamming this, doing whatever I'm doing, maybe scouting up here, I can tap four and tap zealot and pump out my first zealot. And let me cancel that actually. And later on in the game, I start to get ground troops, which I set to control group one. And here's my ground army as you can see. Heavy on the zealots just cause, just cause. So once again, say I'm chrono boosting something with my nexus. Like so. Battle's going down. Double tap one. Back in the action over here with my ground army. And speaking of which, let me make more of those guys. And later on, pretty much you decide between tech trees. Um, normally, I get at least one robo facility, of course, just for a couple observers. So I make a robo facility. Set that to four. Set the rally point wherever I please. And then I tap B, and then tap 5, and I can chrono boost it from there, blah, blah, blah. And if I stick with that, I keep it at 4. But say I would like to make some air units. That is my new 4, because I'm switching from Robo Facility to air units. And obviously this is just my way of doing the hotkeys, or control groups. Anyone can do whatever they please, of course, whatever uh, fits you best. So I know on my Stargates, say I'm, you know, battling... Blah blah blah. I see he's got ultras. Let me switch to void rays. So just tap four, double tap V to get some voids out, and then I can go back into the action from there. And let me actually cancel these just because I don't really need them. And also, one thing I actually forgot after my robo facility is out, I get that first observer. I set him to control group 2, the observer. So say I'm doing stuff in my base, over here, build a cannon, actually that would be a better place. Set him in there, double tap 2, go scout real quick, see what uh, unit composition my enemy has. Obviously I'm only playing against a computer just for showing you guys what's going on. And he's Zerg. Got about all these buildings, but really confused as to what he has. Oh well. Anyway, if he did have something, I would scout my observer. Say I see a bunch of zerglings. I know to go back over here, select my robo facility, make some colossi. And now he's got roaches and amita. So maybe I'll get a, a few more stalkers. And I also keep one observer right around the front of my base. And they got detectors, unfortunately. And I always keep one up around here, because if I hadn't had that, I wouldn't see this overlord right now anyway. So that's an extra little bit of scouting there. Let's see if I can kill this guy. For your overlord kill. And let's see, what else is there? Okay, so after I have stargates... Make some air units here. Tap 5, chrono boost twice, of course. 
And let me actually get this too. And I start getting some air units. So three is the next free one. So I set all my air units to three. And after these guys are out, I will show you what I can do with those. Especially against Zerg, they're or just Phoenixes in general, just because of Overlord. Or Overlord hunting. So I set all those guys to three. So say I'm going to launch a double pronged attack. And as you can see right now, I'm even using all of my control groups. Oh, I can't pick up that guy. Oh well. I will comply. So right now I'm grouping up all my units. Gonna pop off an Overlord here. Gonna kill an Ursa deck. So I see he's got his ground troops, and that Overseer is being kind of annoying. So what I'm gonna do here is probably, I guess I'll lift off the Queen for starters. And here I'm just gonna charge in. Double tap three to select my guys. Select the queen. And here we can launch a double pronged attack. And there was a zergling going over there somewhere. And these guys are going to try to escape. And that's pretty much how you can effectively use control groups as the Protoss player. Eh, nah. I don't think so. And over here, say, you know, I'm in battle, want to make a few more Phoenixes. I can even stay over here. Tap four. Double tap two Phoenixes. Maybe even set the rally point or set the rally point to a Phoenix. Etc. And guys, thanks for watching. That was my Protoss control group tutorial. Check out my channel. Please subscribe, comment, rate, whatever you please. Star Crystal signing out.